Federal agents raided the Bay Area home of a man who works for the home, uh, Department of Homeland Security, and now that raid is stirring some controversy. KTV's Ann Rubin with those involved, the accusations, and the surveillance video that could reveal what really happened. Surveillance cameras caught it all. Police using a battering ram to serve a search warrant at the home of Mohammed Monib. Their goal, to find a stolen dashboard camera worth about $300. As a federal law enforcement officer, I know that this kind of overly uh, excessive policing without any legal basis is completely wrong. Monib, who works for the Department of Homeland Security, was accused of stealing the camera from the car of an acquaintance. And when Santa Clara police initially went to ask him about it, they claim he was uncooperative. The raid happened several weeks later. It's the overreaction uh, and the raw use of police force that I think causes the, 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 the real problem here. Maneeb held a news conference with his attorney and with the Council on American Islamic Relations. They alleged the police response was disproportionate and disrespectful because he's Muslim. Santa Clara police strongly disagree. This is not a Muslim issue. This is not a race issue. This is not an ethnic issue. This is issues purely a case of theft where a federal law enforcement officer committed that theft. Police also say they've watched the surveillance tape and do not think there was a problem. We have officers on tape saying thank you please ma'am that's not being disrespectful in my terms that's being cordial and polite this was the aftermath of the search at Monib's home ransacked rooms and what his family cost thousands of dollars in damage the dashboard camera was never found charges were finally dropped against Monib last week I would just like to raise awareness and I hope what happened to me and my family will never happen to anyone else Monib says he is now contemplating taking legal action. In Santa Clara, Ann Rubin, KTVU Channel 2 News.